The mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cell and ultimately your body. When healthy, your metabolism is high, you're building muscle and you have boundless energy. When not, the opposite. Slow metabolism cannot pack up muscle and low energy. And there are many ways to optimize your mitochondria. And one of the newest and most potent is with a peptide called SS31. SS31 has the ability to protect and heal the mitochondria. Let's take a deep dive into this amazing compound SS31 while be sharing all my research and discoveries on this compound. So before I begin, a little disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Everything in this video is purely educational. So please, any health concerns you may have, please consult your doctor and do not listen to this video. So what is SS31? Another name for it is actually called elimpetide. I may be saying that wrong, but it's a synthetic peptide that has been shown to help protect and heal the mitochondria. And SS31, just the SS part, actually categorizes the peptide and SS actually means Cetyl Healer. I'm probably saying that wrong, but pretty much it's a classification of compounds that help actually target the mitochondria membrane because that is what SS31 does. Additionally, SS31 falls into an ROS scavenger, which pretty much helps prevent oxidative damage. So it falls into the SS and an ROS scavenger, which is a little bit strange. And as well, SS31 is shown to have many anti-aging benefits to not only help with useful aging, but as well to prevent and fight off many diseases such as cancer, kidney disease, heart disease, and a host more. So how does SS31 work? SS31 works by targeting the mitochondria, specifically the mitochondria membrane, by binding to something called cardiolipin. And cardiolipin is very unique to the mitochondria membrane and it plays a crucial role in helping the mitochondria metabolism, regeneration, and protection. And when SS31 binds to cardiolipin, it actually prevents oxidative damage, which then in turn protect the mitochondria because cardiolipin is crucial for the metabolism, protection, and healing of the mitochondria. And so because the mitochondria is protected more, it leads to enhanced mitochondria function, which has a huge downstream effect and has many benefits. To summarize, SS31, binds to cardiolipin, which is in the inner mitochondria. Cardiolipin is very crucial for the protection and regeneration of the mitochondria. And since that is protective, the mitochondria is happier, which means it can function better, resulting into many anti-aging benefits. So what are the research benefits of SS31? It can improve cardiovascular health, it can boost brain power, it can help prevent cancer, it can help prevent kidney disease, it can help heal lung injuries, and it can help increase energy, it can help increase your metabolism. As you can see, there are many benefits of SS31. So what are the research side effects of SS31? So far from what I've seen, abdominal pain, dizziness, nauseous, and as well pain when injecting because that's the most common way SS31 is administrated is through a sub-Q injection. So now let's go into the research dosing and cycling of SS31. And just from studying the peptide community and other experts, it's pretty difficult because first this is a pretty new peptide and it's very difficult to see an exact protocol. But I've seen doses of up to 40 milligrams a day. And even at that high doses, the subjects are very well tolerated. So it largely depends on the reason of why one is using SS31 and then to test it out, see how it reacts to the person. Again, because this is a research area, I mean, there's still a lot of unknown with SS31. So I wish I could give you guys a better answer or better research on it, but I'm still learning a lot about it. Other peptide researchers are still learning a lot. So it's hard to say, but short answer, anything up to 40 milligrams a day, depending on the subject and the subject goals, has been well tolerated. So what are some other supplements I would take with SS31? Well, SS31, the main function is to help with the mitochondria. And I think some of the key supplements to help with that is NAD and glutathione. Those are some of my favorite supplements of all time because they just help with the basics and that can greatly support your mitochondria health. So what are some other peptides I would take with SS31? Well, it's hard to say because it largely depends on what is the goal of SS31, but anyways, first would be some kind of growth hormone combination like a GHRP such as ipirelin with the GHRH, like testosterone because one releases growth hormone and one creates it. And growth hormone is the hormone of vitality, so it's an all around 
I just think an amazing thing to add to a peptide regimen. Next would be TP500 and BPC157. These are some of the best and OG healing peptides. So I think they could be just combined very well with SS31, again, depending on the goal of why the subject is using SS31. Another one would be 5-amino-1-MQ. 5-amino-1-MQ is an amazing way to actually increase NAD in the body, which could really complement the mitochondrial health. Another two peptides would be MOT-C or Humanin. These two peptides, especially MOT-C, work with the mitochondria, so it could be a very powerful way just to even boost the mitochondria or the focus more to really target that in Marzi and Humanin work in different ways. I'm actually gonna be making a video over Humanin soon, but those are some of my favorite mitochondria peptides. So now let's go into the best lifestyle tools for SS31, and it largely depends on the main goal of SS31 or the outcome. But first, the basics, sun, good nutrition, and fasting. And when I think of nutrition, I'm thinking of like functional nutrition, so whole foods, red meat, all that good stuff. Additionally, looking into red light therapy, I think red light therapy is one of the best ways to improve your mitochondrial health. Next would be infrared saunas, big fan for cleansing the body and overall helping support the body and as well acupuncture. I think these are all really great ways to support the energy system and overall complement SS31. So what are the biggest pros of SS31? The biggest pro is just how it works. I think the mechanism of action of SS31 is really cool. How it literally binds to cardiolipin, which is inside the mitochondria and protects that. So that's the biggest pro. And that's all I know about it so far because it's such a new peptide. Now, what are the major cons of SS31? The first con is that there's still very little studies done. I don't even know an exact dosing and cycling for SS31 because it's so new. There's such limited clinical studies. And that tends to be a major con for many peptides because it's such a new field of regenerative medicine. So what is my overall opinion of SS31? I think it's a pretty badass peptide, especially looking at how it works. Like it literally binds to the membrane of your mitochondria to protect it, which is pretty cool. However though, I would start with MOT-C, which is a more well-known mitochondria peptide. And if I wasn't happy with the results, then I would do SS31 because there's still a lot of unknown with SS31. And if I was going to use SS31, I would start at a lower dosing scheme because it's crazy. I've seen people or subjects use up to 40 milligrams. That is just wild to me. Uh, but there's still so much research needs to be done in experiments, which also makes this field so exciting because there's so much possibilities. So overall, I need to learn more about it. Well, anyways, guys, that is my current video of SS31 of the time. I will definitely be making follow-up videos as I get more research and I understand the topic more. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you want to master peptides and want to support what I do, please check out my book, Peptides Made Simple. It's great information. I think you will love it. And please comment down below if there's anything I'm going to cover or any compound. I'll do my best to make a video on it. Have an amazing day and thank you for watching.